Uh, there's a stranger in our RV. And we're gonna go find out who it is. We cannot believe it, <laughs> but the RV Odd Squad Palooza is here. Woke up this morning, we're running around it's cleaning so out all the shops and grocery stores out of their uh, Hostess Donuts. You know, <laughs> if you know, you know. And this is our opportunity to meet everybody. You know, this whole YouTube channel has evolved into something so much bigger than us. And to think that people actually would travel to meet with us <laughs> is very humbling. It's and extremely humbling. We're so grateful. We get a chance to meet everybody, you know, um, COVID hug. Like, I don't know how we're going to handle yeah, that. Fat Boy 27. We finally get to give Fat Boy 27 a nice big hug. We've only talked to him through yeah. text, never seen them face to face. <laughs> but it's a weird thing because they started coming in yesterday and they know what we look like, but we don't know what they look like. There's been a lot of hugs. I mean, we're in a time of COVID, right? So it's been a little bit strange. Some we, air hugs. We actually started to plan this before COVID hit. The RV Odd Squad is all ours. We get to actually break bread, have fun, dance, DJ, and party with the people who we've never met before. And we want those of you who couldn't make it to have the opportunity to participate with us, even if it is virtually. We want to share this with you because this whole event is not about us, it's about us. It's about us. Sadie's and I have been pinching ourselves. Yeah. I mean, I'm a contractor and she was a mortgage broker. Yeah. And now we're RV Park Famous, which is, we're not even sure what that is. It's very prestigious. But we like it. Yeah. <laughs> So if I'm very frank about what this whole process is like in this Palooza, I was really afraid that no one would show up. But when people started showing up, I think I felt equally afraid. <laughs> it's like, it's very exciting, but it's also something that I never would have imagined almost two years ago when we started this channel, when we barely knew what we were doing with the RV that we would actually have formed a community. And what's really neat about this experience is that a lot of the people here, we already knew. We either knew them because they commented or on Facebook, and many of them we've actually even talked to on the phone with before this event. Um, but it's just pretty special what a small world it is. And to think that, I mean, we have people that came here from North Carolina, from Texas, that's pretty far away. And to think that somebody would come here to hang out, you know, in Florida in one of the hottest months of Florida in hurricane season, it's pretty humbling. And um, I don't think I can communicate how full my heart is right now. So humbling to be here and to see so many people many of you whom have traveled you know from other states you know not a lot of people here aren't just local and that's really really humbling and we have a whole lot of thank yous but um, I think to, to those of you who took the time to come here and, and spend this time with us I never would have imagined in a million years that you know this is bigger than us. Mercedes and I both get up this morning and uh, and uh, I was running around doing last minute stuff and went to the manager and everybody I talked to I had tears rolling down my, my face because I was just my heart is so filled with gratitude and I can't believe you people uh, come here yeah you know to travel to assistance to spend some time with us and the truth is is when we sold all of our stuff and started our being full-time we had no idea that it would turn into something like this I just said let's start a YouTube channel and see what happens you know, and we were honest and shared all of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we let you guys inside, not all the way, but pretty close. 
And, uh, you got more secrets? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot more secrets, yeah. <laughs> but in our first year, we went and literally, uh, we got back here. This is the park we left from, the full-time RV. We left this park, we did 14,000 miles all the way around the country. We came back here to meet with Sage's... Tim, 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 Tim. To meet with Sage's doctor, her pediatrician. Sage was born here in Sarasota. And they had an idea something wasn't right because she wasn't talking it to. You know, but we, we were, you know, she was perfect to us. Nothing, absolutely nothing was wrong. But that day, Mercedes and I will never forget. We felt so hopeless. Like, we didn't, they were telling us we had to stay still for six to 12 months. We lived in an RV now. And we certainly didn't sell our stuff to live in an RV park, you know, and so. Although if you got to live in one, this is the one to live this in. Is, yeah, this is the people around here and the, yeah, this pe these people are special people, but I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that uh, the past 10 months since we found out she was diagnosed, right? It's been four appointments per week. Um, Mercedes and I have been through some dark days with each other. You know, we've had highs and we've had lows. But what we always never stop doing is we never stop praying every day in the morning and every day at night. And one of the things we do with Sage is we do the, the Lord's Prayer in the morning and at night. And halfway through this whole thing, Mercedes and I were sitting up at the counter and she was saying a word here and a word there. And Mercedes nudged me and Sage is down at the table by herself and she's literally reciting the Lord's Prayer from beginning to end. You know, and we just, both of us filled up. And you know, those are the moments when you say, man, we're gonna be okay. You know, God's got this. I don't have to worry so much about all these details. But the truth is what you guys, you guys have done more for us than we could have ever done for you. You guys have helped us get, get, get through us through some tough days. A lot of channels in the space think we're nuts answering all of our comments, but they don't understand. We love you guys. We need you guys. We need you guys. When we get dark and it's ugly, we go to comments. And we'll read stuff from Mary, and we'll read stuff from this person and that. Although a lot of you on YouTube are Fatboy67 and Chevy Guy 50 you know. <laughs> and we know these people by right, but the story, you not only are we sharing our lives with, with, with you, you're sharing your lives with us and we really care about your adventure as well. And so, we don't know where this is going. We really truly trust that God's putting us right where he wants us to help as many of his other kids as he possibly can. And, um, and things just keep on landing in front of us as we go. And so, we're leaving next week. And we're not sure if we're taking the new rig in. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we know the answer's gonna pop up in the next few days, what to do. We know we're going to see family in Colorado. We're heading west of the Mississippi, and we're super excited to go. Sage absolutely loves traveling in the RV. We went down to uh, Homasis, Hom Hom Seven Sister Springs. Yes. She never, she didn't throw one tantrum. She loved the traveling. She she loved all of it. She loves this life, and we know we know that this life is a life that we want to do. And so um, I guess. I, truly honest to God, we love you guys more than you can ever imagine. We're grateful that we have every single one of you in our lives. And thank you for giving us this platform. And you, you guys give us hope. Day two of the Palooza, Mercedes and I are just absolutely exhausted, but we're also exhilarated by finally getting to meet some of the people that we've been typing back and forth in the comments section of our YouTube videos. But, um, you know, in typical RV Odd Couple fashion, I guess there's a tropical depression, which is a hair <laughs> below a tropical storm. So it's like really hot and muggy and uh, really rainy, but we're just rolling with it because I mean, it, it, we couldn't have it any other way, right? At least it's not a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, the campground is somewhat of a mud pit right now. Yesterday when we started, or last night when we started doing the raffle and giving everybody their stuff, we had torrential down uh, pours. 
But what was really cool is the torrential downpours kind of held us all together yeah. under this pavilion. Really, nobody could leave. Yeah, you're stuck. Yeah. Well, on the agenda right now, we're doing a little um, coffee and donuts. Yeah, a Danish spread that Royal Coachman totally put on for us. Um, then we have a pool party, but it's scheduled for like the worst part of the rain. <laughs> so we're, that one we're trying to figure out. Yeah. Um, then we have a DJ coming and we're gonna have a we're social dance. distance dance. Yeah, social yeah. distance dancing. Yeah, so we'll figure out how to do that. But um, we're, we're just really excited to have everyone here and uh, this is gonna be a really fun day. No, but seriously, what was interesting though when we got together yesterday was that um, everybody naturally wanted to be close to each other and they naturally wanted to talk with each other. And I think it strikes at a deeper chord that we're kind of lonely and we kind of miss people and having people there, even if you're just talking about some, something silly like your RV or your tires or whatever, right. it's pretty important stuff. It is, it is. It's strange times in the world right now, but you know, and we're all still getting used to it. We're all doing the very best we can with the masks and when we're face to face. We do, however, um, Mercedes and I, aren't as worried about it as some but everybody's comfort level is up or down we have some people here that have just come out of chemo treatment so, so we're trying to be yeah yeah we know game. now after yesterday those who are a little uncomfortable with closeness we've given them a noodle so that we'll know to stay back we keep the kids back from these people and we want everybody to feel comfortable at and home safe. when they're with us Welcome to my crib! <laughs> what are you doing in here? Hanging out, man. Come in. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for bringing me out. I really appreciate it. This has been such a new and interesting experience for me. I have never RV'd. I've never stayed in a camper. Hanging out with the Odd Squad and getting to meet your people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been such a cool experience. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. When I was interviewing them and asking them about what does the Odd Squad mean to you, all of them said the same thing. Right. They all said family, mm. family. which is amazing. And yep. I, I love what you guys have done. I love that you're doing the um, RVing for autism. Mm. That like touches my heart more than anything because right. I lost a, a daughter to a chronic medical condition yeah. a few mm. years back. And like, I really connect to that. And I think raising awareness for special needs for autism for all like chronic medical conditions with children is amazing so mm -hmm. thanks for doing that oh you're welcome it is all things we really weren't looking for an editor but we knew we couldn't continue doing everything that we're doing especially with sage and treating her and all the things that are coming up and, and then we went to see it seen a video and your story of what happened oh. with Kanan. you know um and uh our hearts just we knew right then we got to get this guy and we say we said to joey hey you got to come down to florida just come yeah. stay with us we're going to put you in this rig and he said yes I said yes <laughs> you yeah. said yes and we just uh, invited you to take a quick peek and spend two days in the RV lifestyle the full-time lifestyle that we do and it's always fun for us when we bring somebody in that doesn't really understand or seen the lifestyle before uh, every time I thought of RVing the only association I have is with the movie yes. RV <laughs> Robin my, Williams my yeah my little girl like loves that show <laughs> or that movie and is like that's all I've ever known of it but this really is an interesting experience it's so cool yeah I know there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that have like that are super successful and have lots of subscribers right. but really to see this like materialize and actually see that you guys really are a family and how you say that you respond to every comment right like we that's, try. yeah that's such dedication right. because you're not in it for the wrong reasons, you're in it for the right reason, yeah. which is to reach people. We, I mean, basically, since we started, and we didn't make this up, but what we say, to be a member of the RV Odd Squad, you just have to subscribe, and then be kind, courteous, and always willing to help somebody else. And we've been saying that ever since we started this, and it's really beautiful to see that happen, and to meet these people face to face, you know, and give them a hug, yeah. and talk to them, pray with them, yeah. you know? It's just, we are so humbled this weekend, mm -hmm. And we're also really excited to have somebody else edit a video for us because we can't do it all anymore. Especially if we're going to take this new mission 
of our being for autism. We don't know where it's going to go, but we do know we need help, and we're hoping you'll be able to help us along yeah, the way. Absolutely. Uh, we don't believe this is an accident that we no. found you. I we agree. think that we're going to be friends for a long, long time, and let's hope that we can maybe change the world yeah. in a better direction. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, guys. So obviously, having someone else edit our videos is really scary because you don't want to lose your voice. But in the next video, you're going to see why we fell in love with Joey and what he's really capable of. See you in the next video. And grab a tissue, guys. Yeah, you're going to need it.